Hello and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today's video is all about preparing a wildflower meadow. So, as you probably have seen on some of the former videos, we are attempting to grow a wildflower meadow on what is a very, very healthy lawn uh, that's got lots of grass and lots of really tough competition. But because we want to try and improve the biodiversity, we want to try and get some wildflower seeds germinating in there. Um, we're a little bit earlier than I would probably intend, but, you know, needs must and uh, temperatures are warming up. We're up to 14s and 15s down here in the south part of England uh, in uh, Valentine's Day today. Yeah, postman hasn't been yet, obviously. Anyway. Um, first job that we need to do is to try and um, improve the chances and the first thing that we're going to do with that is chop the current existing grass down and really stress it out because we want that under stress we want it really struggling in order for that wildflower seed to have any sort of chance of success it still be a battle even even doing it this way but this is what we're going to have a go at so let's get on with some grass mowing Right, so, sun's come out now, um, the fog has gone, slightly warmer, spring-like again, and we've managed to chop the grass down, as you can see. Now, if you remember from the earlier part of the video, we put all these leaves, blew all these leaves off these trees into there to try and kill it off, but, but equally, we all know that grass and leaves make a lovely bit of composty mulch and uh, there's a lot of nutrition in there as well. So one thing we definitely don't want to do is leave it in the ground. So we're going to have to blow that off now using our um, battery backpack blowers um, and try and sort of get that canopy open. But prior to that, we're actually going to put a scarifier through it to open it up even more. And then we'll obviously clear all that rubbish off at the same time rather than doing it twice. So let's crack out a scarify. So before we talk about the important stuff, this is Albus down here who is uh, very interested in what we do. So anyway, um, before we go and have a look at the meadow and what we've done to it, one of the things we want to talk about today is a company that uh, very kindly sponsor uh, the Lawn Association. And one of the things about the Lawn Association is we like to work with companies that um, embody the word quality. And uh, although I've only been doing this for 42 years now, uh, I do know about this company uh, and a lot of their core principles and products as well. And uh, that's one of the reasons why we chose uh, to work with the grass people. And obviously one of the wonderful things, uh, again, which is important to them and important to us, is that most of their products, they come in bigger and smaller as well. And, you know, they can pretty much put together whatever you uh, request, if you like. Uh, they come in sustainable bags. They're very pretty, aren't they, as well? <laughs> Not that I'm, you know, uh, that keen on, on grass bags at all. Uh, excuse the cat if there's a cat up a tree there that you might be interested in. Um, and you know this particular one here is our lovely little wildflower. Uh, you know with with the grass people one thing is that they have got choice. They've got quality advice. They've got the greatest choice that I've seen certainly in the retail and professional area as well. Uh, so if you do want to get in touch with them give them a call, give them an email. They'll help you with any such problem that you have but going on to this one this is our lovely wild flower or one of our lovely wild flower seed mixes in a beautiful little um i would say cottony bag but i'm not quite sure what you'd call that but but beautiful very very good uh it has the label obviously of what we've requested in it we have had a, a as you saw 
earlier on in the video, we've had a collaboration with my good wife as to what she would like. So we've tried to get some of those poppies and cornflowers in there at the same time. Um, and they can help you with anything. So rest assured when you give them a call. So let's go and have a look at all the hard work that has been done and uh, just discuss where we go next. Now, as you would have seen in the earlier part of the video, this is trying to create a wildflower meadow without sort of going back to resorting to the use of chemicals. So you'll see we've still got grass growing in here. And as we pointed out, it's a very vigorous grass. And when you scarify this type of grass, it generally gets thicker. It's not, a, you know, it's not been created uh, other than by nature itself. So we know that we've got a difficult situation to try and get any sort of wildflower growing in here. So although we're in February, uh, temperatures at the moment, certainly down in the south of England, are around about 15 degrees. I haven't checked soil temperatures, but they'll be certainly warming, um, even, even on a gloomy day today. It's not freezing cold. Um, so we've looked at trying to get the seed in very early, and we've tried to do what we can to give the flowers more of a chance because ultimately we're fighting against grass here and not many things outcompete grass and certainly not this species as well. So we've taken advice from the grass people. And we, you know, um, so anyway, just to recap, what we did with these, we obviously chopped them down very, very short with our lovely uh, Steger battery mulch. So essentially relatively good carbon footprint when it comes to that. Uh, we'd already put the leaves down over the winter, as you know, to try and kill patches of grass off so that we didn't have to resort again to the use of chemicals. Uh, so once we'd got rid of the grass and chopped it down, first thing to do was to try and make some bare earth. And we did that by the use of normal garden scarifiers. Um, and if you see the two areas here, we scarified these two. There's two here. And there's two over here. Now we scarified these a lot harder uh, than these ones on my right hand side. <clears throat> and some of that was really down to seeing whether we needed to hit them harder. Because I, there's sort of no rule of thumb when it comes to trying to do this job. It's a very difficult thing to, to generate wildflower mixes into swords unless you sort of almost take them back to bare earth. That, that's fairly simple. But... In this case, we didn't want to do that. We may have to do that, and that's something perhaps for next year that we'll learn from from today, uh, from this year, I beg your pardon. So we did three or four passes along here. We raked all the material off again, including the leaves. The last thing we want to do is, is add more um, organic matter to the soil. The soil is already amazing here. The property has been here for hundreds and hundreds of years so it's already really good so again that's another battle wildflowers love awful soils um, so again it's pointing out another little battle that we will learn from how we learn and what we learn we'll wait and see what it accomplishes so although we've obviously raked it off uh, or raked as much off as we can there is a lot more open soil on these two than these two over here so we're going to see whether it makes any difference. And we've even done uh, one lawn up there where we didn't, didn't scarify the lawn at all. And we'll see whether it does anything as well. So let's crack on and get some seed down. Now, there are many different ways to do this. And again, we, we've listened to advice, but I think the one thing about spreading seeds is uh, it's incredibly difficult when you're doing very, very low rates uh, of grass seed, in this case, wildflower seed. Um, you can obviously broadcast it by hand. Uh, the main thing really, like any seed, is, is about getting soil contact right. So in this case, uh, we've got one of these lovely little battery powered uh, spreaders, hand spreaders, available on the Lawn Association store. Uh, it comes with a variation of settings, which is uh, great for controlling the amount of product that comes out. Um, we do sell this with uh, application rates for certain products as well, already calibrated for you, which is useful. 
and then you have a speed control down here as well which again just makes it spin a bit faster there are different ways to do it uh of which you can learn later so let's crack on and uh get some seed down So there you go, all done. Let's say we're in uh, mid-February, near mid to end of February, getting on. Don't know what the date is today, 19th, 20th. Um, first of all, uh, very much a, a big thanks to the grass people for supplying us uh, with this wildflower mix. So um, as I say, go over and have a look at, if, especially if you've got an idea of doing this or a part of this in your garden, helping that sort of biodiversity within your garden, get over to their website and check them out. We will be doing uh, a number of other videos uh, on some of the other lawns here uh, in collaboration with the grass people as well, which will be coming up when temperatures get a little bit warmer. Uh, but as I say, thank you very much for, for watching. And all we got to do now is wait for nature to just warm up a little bit. <laughs>